Hi guys, I'm Sharon, but the full name is Shitsun Social. And then today I want to talk about the the truth, the untold truth of being a chartered accountant in South Africa and also tell you the salary that I was getting as a trainee and also the salary that I was getting um after the training when I was a qualified chartered accountant. So I worked in a uh, corporate, but before that, I studied in the University of Pretoria between 2008 until 2011. So I did uh, uh, accounting sciences. And then in my second year of studying, I got a bursary with a good company, which is a multinational company here in South Africa, an oil and, an oil and gas company here in, in South Africa. And it was, it was good. And then that meant that after... Uh, finishing my studies I had to go work for them I had to work back the three years and then so that's where I did my articles on my training and then also after my training I also worked for them until I I decided to leave corporate so here are some of the things that you should know so after after I, I qualified um, the mistake that I made I did not ask for a dummy pay slip so i was expecting to earn um, a high salary so we went and got our uh, rent our uh, rented and 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 accommodation and then by this time the salary came oh my goodness it was cut off like it was cut in half in a way because there were just so many deductions like there was medical aid that was so expensive and then there's also tax and there's also the pension that's being deducted so although so in my first year of working i was earning around uh, i think the gross was like close to 20 or twenty thousand rents and then but the net that i was taking home was was it eleven thousand seven hundred or ten thousand seven hundred it was somewhere along those lines so now it felt like my rent is so high so it meant that now i had to downgrade the place and move to somewhere where i can i can afford and then by then i was even just using taxes and not even and not even driving and then uh in, in four months into working i bought myself my first car i bought myself um a polo back then in 2012 that was polo was such a good car it's still a good car i still have that car to this day it's still in a it's still in a great great condition so i bought my i bought the polo but after buying the polo now it's like i was breaking even the money was just enough for the polo for for the rent and insurance so it was no longer enough for like buying clothes and buying work clothes and other entertainment things but fortunately we wrote our board after writing our board exams when the results come out so you also the salary also gets uh increased so the salary got increased and then now i felt like at least i can have savings in in my money so now my salary went up as well also when you finish like uh two years in the company they would increase the salary so and also when you pass the second board exam they also increase the salary so my salary was was then increased from that uh eleven thousand net and then it became uh a, a decent salary it became a decent uh ca or child accountant salary but um so here are some of the things that you should know about being um, a child accountant so number one it's that uh your salary will depend on the company that you work for so you might have studied with your peers in the same university but know that all of you will be earning different amounts based on the company that you work for some people and less because of the companies that they are working for they are working for small companies some are working at the banks they earn more some are working for certain corporations they earn so it will depend where you are where you are based so it's not like a one size fits all and then number two Number two, what I like about being an accountant, the untold truth is that you are at an advantage because it's like you're starting higher than most uh, people. What most people are earning when they start working, you are already at a, at a higher level because I remember by the time I qualified, my salary was now so good. My salary was good. So you are at an advantage than an ordinary person here in South Africa. And then number three, you must know that there are other, other, also other careers that you can earn more. Even though you did not study to be a child accountant, I discovered that there are also other people who were earning more than me, although they did not even study to be a child accountant because it can also be be quite difficult, a difficult course. I remember when I was still studying, I used to cry sometimes like, 
I would fail and I would be crying and I would even wonder if I would finish in record time. But I ended up finishing in record time, but the struggle was a role. But I also discovered that now you can even make more money than, uh, uh, you're making more money than other people, than the average people. But there are also other careers where you can make more money as well. And I also discovered as well, remember I left, so in 2021, I left uh, corporate to, to, to pursue my own things. Now I'm into digital content creation. Uh, and I'm making more than what I was making then. So I was making, so by the time I left my job, my gross salary, I think it was at around, um, 8,000 rand while my net salary, it was at around, was it around 50, around 50, somewhere there, 50,000 rand, my, my net salary. But even though I've left corporate, I'm still able to even make way more than that though i'm not even using my qualification i'm using zero qualification i i'm still making more than those amounts so it just shows that they are you can still make more even though you don't have um this qualification and then number four it's that you won't end the same as your peers you might even be in the same company and you might maybe even be a year ahead, but it does it mean but that means nothing. People who come after you, it depends on the bosses and all these things and on the remuneration structures and all these things. You might even find that people who are in the organization younger than you are even earning more than you, though you've been with them maybe for for quite some time or for quite some years. So it just depends on a whole lot of things or the position that you are in or the department that you're working for. So just know that you might be working in the same company, but you might not be earning the same salary yes you might be having the same qualification but it doesn't guarantee the same salary and then number five uh many of the things that you learn in uh university you're not going to apply them in in the working environment because by the time you get there you'll be assigned just a small portion to take care of so many of those things that you've learned in university you're not even going to be to be using them and also when you get there you find that the systems are already automated so you not really have to you won't even have to start from scratch doing those calculations that you were doing when you were still in university you won't really have to be using your brain as much because uh many of those things are taken care of by by the systems and then number six you are at an advantage because you understand you understand the numbers better so you understand the numbers better than an average person or any other person though they've studied because now you get to understand things like your taxes how they were the corporate taxes and even your personal taxes you get to understand the financial statements you are able to interpret them you are able to analyze if this company is being profitable or not you understand things when it comes to pricing and all those things you understand the auditing aspect of things so it's like now if you happen to start your own business or something it will be easy for you because you know all those principles already so you are already at an advantage because you know those key key things already and also if you need to apply for funding now you'll be able to know what is it that investors or financiers are looking for so you are at an at an advantage because you understand the numbers while if you didn't study you might have to do go do maybe an mba in order to understand uh these kind of things and then number seven what I've noticed being both on the inside and outside is that as our accountants, we are taught how to account for money, how to analyze things, how to analyze the trends, how to analyze. But the skill that we are not taught is how to make money so we have already been taught that this is how once you get the money to save it this is what you need to be doing but we're not taught that this is how you can grow your business this is the kind of business you can start this is how you can you can start a successful business and all those things that aspect you're not taught that aspect you need to discover it for yourself and then number eight uh the salary is good but it is limited. You must know that it is limited. The standard of living is quite high. And especially if now you 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 want the finer things in life. Yes, you can you can still achieve it with them with being a teller accountant, especially if you happen to go up the ranks until you even reach maybe your CFO position and you get to you you work for good companies. Yes, you'll earn a lot of money if you get to be in managerial positions in good companies but uh the thing is that if 
if you are stuck somewhere because there's no guarantee that your salary might reach a certain level it means that uh you might not afford everything that you want in life you might not afford the things that you desire in life because for instance if you are earning um maybe a net salary of 60,000 rands. Let's take your earning 60,000 rand and then cars these days have gone up so much. You find that you are paying above like 20k, 30k just to drive a a nice German car and then also housing depending on what you want. If now you have a family, obviously you can't really be staying in an apartment. Maybe you want to stay in a in a house, in a standalone house and houses are so expensive, maybe 3 million rands. So that's another 30,000 going out. And if you have children, there's money for school fees which are also quite um expensive which can be over ten thousand rand a child and all that so it shows you that now you can't really afford everything that you want in life yes when you are still starting before your expenses are much that money can seem like it is a lot but now once you have a family you you need to have maybe a partner who is also earning to supplement so you can be able to reach uh those goals quicker or you need to have other side hustles or you need to run your own you need to run a business that will make you money in order to reach the kind of life that you want yes initially the money looks good but over time you realize that it's limited it can't really give you the kind of life that you you still desire and then uh number nine it's that um sometimes you feel like you are working for SARS, especially if you are earning so high because now you are taxed at the highest tax bracket so most of your salary now or much of your salary it goes um towards sars it's paying your taxes so that's the disadvantage but overall if my child's or my children were to say that they want to study to become an a chartered accountant i would say definitely go for it i wouldn't mind i think this is a good uh career it just depends on what path you choose what you uh what you want to achieve with it as well i feel like it's a great starting point in life it's a good starting point it also has so many opportunities you can learn a lot from it you can gather a lot of skills you can work in different places you can work in different organizations so i think it is it is quite good but if you want uh even more in life you might have to do beyond or go beyond it but it's such a great uh a prestigious uh career